everybody. It is Tuesday morning. Good morning. Um, our day at Knott's is over by now, but I'm going to be sharing that with you in just a minute. Um, it was absolutely fabulous for me. I love boysenberries, and it was like Charlie walking into the chocolate factory. I mean, I just wanted everything and everything that was boysenberry in my mouth. <laughs> I just, I wanted it. Now, when I started out, I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to I think I'll track, but um, I wasn't fully committed to that for that day, um, and I didn't end up doing it, and the re real good reason why, as you can imagine, is that we're in a crowded park, and we have three little boys in tow, and all of my attention went from getting them from one place to another, and also keeping track of every single one of them, and I realized that if I was on my phone searching for food at some point, um, you know, I, I mean, anything can happen. I could lose a child, and I didn't want to do that. So I thought, you know what? I'm just going to relax today. I'm going to enjoy it. Um, one wonderful thing about following a Weight Watchers or an I Track Bites, which is the same, you know, same program. Um, is that 80% or more you're on, you know, you're always tracking, you're always inputting into your, um, into your tracker and you are getting, you are getting very familiar, um, with calories and amounts and portions and how many, what kinds of food have certain points. And so that when you're off that 10 to 20%, you know, of the time overall, it's like a day like this happens, then you can't help but be mindful of the content that's in food and how much you should be having and watching portion sizings. And not only that, but you're, you're also tra have trained yourself into recognizing the, um, hunger cues and the satiate satiety cues so you know about how much you know oh gosh you know when i feel like this i'm pretty near my caloric you know level um that i can take in and stuff like that you recognize all of these little signals and it really helps to keep you really close to where you need to be right so um but anyway so i really relied on that intuitive type mindset for uh, this trip. So now we didn't go hog wild. We did have a tasting card. And remember we split everything five ways. So actually by the time we were done tasting everything, we were hungry. <laughs> so it just got our, kind of wet our appetite, but it was fun. Um, so like the ice cream, there was like a boysenberry ice cream with boysenberry nacho chips. Uh, well, it looks really good, but that portion size, which was, you know, a pretty sampling, that was split five ways. So. It's like we each got two chips and probably a tablespoon of ice cream, but it was fabulous. And I do appreciate, you know, being able to try everything. So keep that in mind. Um, so we pretty much stayed real close to, you know, where we were supposed to, or, or I did. Um, I did have a piece of boysenberry pie, which was fabulous. And I brought one back for our eldest son because he asked for one. But anyway, um, enough of that. I'm going to take you on our trip and I hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, I will see you later. I love you a lot. All right, before we take off on our trip, I'm starting the day off right here with some growing oatmeal with apple and cinnamon and um, some egg white over there, uh, an eighth of an avocado. Oh, it's probably a quarter of an avocado because I was finishing it and some turkey sausage. And I don't think that I went over seven points for this breakfast. That's probably six. Hey everybody, we are on our trip. Okay, so now I made this nice, really big um, Joseph's Lavash with my chicken salad in it again. And uh, same thing I had yesterday. But for some reason, I don't know why I was counting. Maybe I wasn't off the check. I think I was counting the lavash bread as less than it is because now I have a whole one in here. I should have made a wrap with just half because a whole one is coming up as four points. Maybe I made a wrap yesterday with the flat bread and that's why it was one point. I don't remember, but um, four points seems like a lot. Uh, but anyway, I've got that. Um, I've got one point of the Smart Food popcorn. I've got a lot of the baby carrots here to snack on. And I brought my drink, which is a sugar-free ice drink. I um, also have apples and a cheese stick. And uh, my husband is, I uh, just went through Burger King. <laughs> so. He said he'd share his onions. You can show my shame. 
<laughs> and that is in here and he said he'd share the onion rings with me and I might take a, take a couple um, but I'm gonna try to mark everything down I don't know how long this is gonna last today or tomorrow or if I'm even <laughs> going to you know keep track of anything tomorrow I think to tell you the truth I will probably take a visual of everything I take but I'm I don't know if I'm gonna put it all in because it's gonna be a pretty busy day uh, but anyway all right, I'll check in with you later All right, the first night we got there, we ended up having the chicken dinner that we were looking forward to, and I went with the traditional dinner, um, and I started off with the rhubarb soup I loved. I had a little bit of the salad, which I dipped into the dressing, and this uh, chicken got split up like three or four ways. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning, and we are getting ready to have some fun going into the park. Hubby's making me a little cup of coffee. And he is already eating a piece of boysenberry pie is that on my face? for breakfast. <laughs> no, I sure wish I could cultivate an attitude as carefree as him. You know that he doesn't seem to suffer from any of it. But I think I just might for today. We started off with salmon and boysenberry sauce and pot roast with the boysenberry glaze and boysenberry mashed potatoes. Then we went on to try it was some sort of a steak with the cream cheese boysenberry sauce. There was a boysenberry sausage uh, with boysenberry ketchup, boysenberry mustard, boysenberry chili in a boysenberry bowl. Here's my breakfast. We are back home. My breakfast is seven bites. I'm gonna sit down here, sorry for shaking you. Um, one apple is one bite. My White Coast Triple Zero yogurt here is two bites. It's a mixed berry. Um, and then I have a Bubby's Light English Muffin. That is one bite or one point on the iTrax Bite Classics program. I've got one egg, which is two bites for two points. And then I have one full slice of the reduced fat Colby Jack cheddar from Sargento, which is one bite. So it's seven bites all together. This is my breakfast. All right, I had a nine bite lunch, uh, one point of the Joseph's uh, flatbread, meatloaf, uh, one baby bell melted light cheese and some of the horseradish mustard and I also had some of the zero point green soup. Actually, I took one point for All the right, peas. so we are back and it's time to get back to my normal programming uh, and my meals and you know, I'm glad, I'm glad to get 
kind of back home and get back on track as far as uh, a schedule. Um, I don't consider having a day in the sun like that being off track really so much because I kind of feel like you really have to have that once in a while, you know, and keep yourself. Um, it it kind of, it makes me appreciate the, um, the normal scheduling that I have and the structure that I have normally right because i had something to get back to that was that way that i know that's going to keep me on point right and so um i was glad for that day and now i'm glad that i'm back <laughs> so um, i'm going to be doing a the perfect subscriber tag i got tagged from sandy from let's get fit with sandy so thanks sandy for tagging me i can't wait to do that tag it sounds like a lot of fun um you know i've been trying to focus on getting back into the routine here again we're going to be planting a garden today uh the boys and i and um yesterday was really really busy we had to take our little our little girl to the uh, misty to the doctor because she went out to go potty the night before and i think she and her brother went running around the yard and for so, somehow she tore her nail, one of her nails off. I know that sounds horrible. Um, and the doctor had to completely remove it and fix her up. And so now she's in a little bandage for the rest of the week. And she's a three-legged dog, so poor thing. But anyway, um, she'll get better. And uh, she's feeling better. She's on antibiotics and her little pain meds, and she's doing okay. So anyway, um, I will see you guys later in today's video. And I'm picking out some interesting recipes. Um, I ran across a recipe that I think is fairly low points. I might be trying. It's actually called zucchini strudel. Never heard of such a thing before or using zucchini in that way. But I am very, very... Um, I don't know, very interested. Uh, my, my interest is peaked, so very curious. Anyway, I will see you later. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday.